it seems like the new trend in the world of book tech are new color e-readers. It's just now that tech is finally evolving enough where we can have color screens on e-ink devices. Now, at first glance, this may seem like an awesome innovation. It may even seem like the transition from going from black and white TV to color TV, but that is certainly not the case. If you ask me, color e-readers still have way too many trade-offs compared to black and white ones. And in today's video, I'm gonna explain everything you have to know before you buy a color Kindle, Kobo, or any other other e-reader. Now by far the biggest disadvantage to buying a color e-ink device right now is the lack of high quality resolution compared to a normal black and white e-reader. Now what I'm referring to here is specifically text. If you're buying an e-reader, chances are you're reading books that contain a lot of words. Unless you're reading exclusively comics or graphic novels, most bookworms who are reading on these devices will be reading black and white text. You see, the way these color e-ink devices work is they're adding a filter on top of the screen, which is one more layer between your eyes and the actual text. And this is actually causing this screen door hazy effect, even if you aren't using the color features, even if you're just looking at black and white, that color filter will always be there. Now to be clear, you probably won't even notice this color filter if you don't compare it side by side with the black and white device. But the second you do that, you can clearly tell there's a big difference and the quality is not the same. The other thing you should be aware of, especially if this is your first time buying an e-reader, is the color display on these devices is nothing like your phone or your iPad. I know it sounds a bit odd, but this will actually look more comparable to a newspaper, which is way more comfortable to read on than staring at a phone screen for example, but it is not an LCD, it is not an OLED. E-ink is very, very different and the colors are gonna be a bit more muted. Now, if you want my opinion, I really do prefer that newspaper vibe, especially for an e-reader, it's meant to be a comfortable reading experience. But again, for the average bookworm like myself, I don't really read color very often and I would rather have a device that is fully optimized for black and white reading, which is the number one thing I do. Now, before telling you the other things you should be aware of before buying a color e-reader, I do wanna do a quick shout out for my book club called Presently Reading. If you're into reading nonfiction books or have an interest to start reading nonfiction books, you should join the book club. It's completely for free. Every month I choose a new book to read and I read it alongside 2,000 other bookworms from around the world. Every week we have a discussion. We talk about the nonfiction book that we're reading. It's been a great way to be accountable to read one new book every month. If you are interested in joining, link down below with all the details. Now, another trade-off you're gonna see on these color e-ink e-readers is a significantly darker screen. In order to accommodate that extra filter on the screen, which is allowing for the color, you do have to crank up the brightness a bit extra to see the screen clearly like you normally would. Again, you won't really tell the difference unless you put it side by side, but if the brightness is down to zero and you put a color e-ink device next to a black and white one, it is a huge difference, which I definitely think you should be aware of. If you want my thoughts on this, it's not really the biggest deal in the world. You are gonna be losing some battery life to accommodate for that extra brightness, but we're talking about weeks of battery anyway. The normal Kindle Paperwhite for example, has a 12 week battery, whereas the Kindle Colorsoft has an eight week battery. That is still two or three months of battery life, not a big deal whatsoever. All right, now depending which e-reader you get, another thing you'll have to deal with on a color e-ink device is all these extra settings that come with it. Now, some people love having extra customization and extra options to choose from, and other people don't want that at all. They want simplicity. I tend to lean more towards the simplicity side of things. I think the best way to illustrate this point is by showing you two devices on opposite sides of the spectrum. First, we have the Onyx Books Color e-ink device over here, which has a lot of options for choosing the contrast, the refresh rate. You could even choose different presets per application on the device. A lot of options and a lot of customization. On the other side of the spectrum, we have the Kindle Colorsoft, which literally only has one extra toggle for making the colors a bit more vivid. Everything else is exactly the same as any other Kindle. Regardless of which device you end up getting, just be aware this color technology is still relatively new. All of this requires a bit more extra processing underneath the hood. So black and white devices are still way more fast and snappy and probably more optimized for your user experience where these color devices are not that far behind, but they're still gonna have a bit more of a slowish feel compared to their black and white counterparts. Okay, the last thing I wanna talk about is something I don't really see many people discussing whatsoever, and that is the idea that having a color e-ink device is actually a distraction from reading. Now, I'll be the first to admit that I know seeing color on an e-reader for the first time, especially if you already have one, just feels like a magical experience. I still remember seeing seeing that 
from my experience, it was such an awesome thing being able to highlight in color, seeing images come up in their native colors as well. I know how cool it feels, but at the end of the day, it's one extra thing you have to worry about. I really wanna challenge you to reflect on how often you would actually benefit from having a color screen on your e-reader. If I had to guess, most people who read on a Kindle, on a Kobo, or any other e-reader, they only read black and white. I know color is cool, but is it really gonna be worth it for you? Do you really wanna deal with choosing which color to highlight in or fine tuning all your settings to be just right. I don't know, for me, I would rather have black and white because that's all I really need. If you found this video useful, you'll definitely enjoy my other video that I just posted recently about the Kindle Colorsoft and how Amazon is covering up a mistake they made last year with that device. Link for that on the screen right now. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.